Cape Town, when I take a walk down EFC's big fight memory lane, headliners such as Pena against Saved, both 1 and 2, Boyd against Majin Lino against Zua, come to mind. But when the Cape Town sun rises outside my window come Sunday morning, I am almost sure I'll be adding Vanzel against Lunjambula to that list. On Saturday night at Carnival City, MMA fans will have the privilege of witnessing the biggest fight in the Extreme Fighting Championship when the heavyweight champion, Andrew Van Zyl, puts his title on the line against an equally dangerous warrior and the light heavyweight champion, Dal Talunjambula in a super fight at EFC 71. Aside from the fancy feels that come with the title of this match, the event itself is enough to get purists excited. It sees a three-time heavyweight champion and a calculating mixed martial arts icon throw down against a vicious and powerful warrior with a high level of judo. They don't come more grizzled than Mr. Heavyweight, Andrew. His record speaks for itself with 19 wins, two of which have gone the distance, and only three losses. It's clear that many have come, and many have fallen before him. He has earned the respect of fighters from across the globe, saluting them and fighting out of Randberg Ridge BJMMA Gym in Johannesburg. After watching Andrew's dominance, Dalja made the move up to heavyweight with one objective in mind, Andrew Van Zyl must fall. Dalja, an incredibly powerful and explosive fighter has rocked quite a few ships in the MMA waters. With his lightning-fast clinch movement, tough skin and log-like limbs, the Cape Town-based fighter is on a four-match winning streak, and sports eight wins and just one loss in the EFC thus far. Just like Andrew, Dalcha, too, is a man who enjoys finishing his business before the judges can call it, which makes for an even more tantalizing matchup, but Andrew is not too concerned. Subscribe to the IOL Sport Newsletter. He is very athletic and a very good judoku, he's not more powerful or more technical with his striking in comparison to Elvis Moyo or Jared Vandera, so I guess we will see. It will be tough but business as usual, referencing two matches which he won recently. If Daltra does not stick to his strengths, I can't see him making history in Johannesburg. He will need to activate a strong judo game and tire the heavyweight champion with numerous takedowns before initiating a guard breaking ground and pound or simply find the button and put Andrew to sleep. If it does not go this way, I see the man they call, One Gear, picking away at the Cape Town Warrior racking up points with each round. Or, should Delcha fail to follow his natural game, the increase in weight could also be his downfall and see, One Gear, dominate with his heavy hands and drop Delcha to the canvas. It's a heavyweight fight, so he must be at 105 kgs, so he needs to deal with the extra weight, says Andrew. Dalch's explosive power will certainly be put to the test, if it holds out, incredibly, things could get very interesting. Either way, we can play all the scenarios out in our heads and on our PCs. But only these two authors will be able to write a warrior novel come Saturday night. Follow at Julianka Beats on Twitter for live tweeting main card bouts 2130 cat live on SABC3, Andrew Van Zyl vs. Dalcha Lunjambula Nukazamulo Zulu vs. Magna Alves Stephen Gone Colves vs. Luthon Dobico Cedric Doyle vs. Trezegi at Canyon the Petai Coxon vs. Conrad CB Prelim bouts 1730 cat live broadcast on the EFC Facebook. Page Anisette Canyon vs. Sindalman Anglobilios Towson vs. Jason Van der Merwe TC Kusu vs. Warren King Marcel Els vs. Rocky Alunga Mark Campa vs. Elvis Nigwaling Wallafafa Duama vs. Asiashu Shatamba Mutual A Basambamba vs. Hein Pavier at Julianka Beats IOL Sport Like Us on Facebook Follow us on Twitter